Hello everyone and welcome back to Yankee Dabbler where every day is a train show. My name is DJ and today we're going to be taking a look at some items in the N and H O uh, scales that might find their way on your layout today. We're going to start out with these new pieces from Walther's. These are fresh off the presses. Check these out. These are the Walther's 50 foot PS2 covered hoppers. And as you can see I have a multitude of different row names. New York Central. I got Milwaukee Road. I got the Burlington Route. Got Southern, B and O, Chicago Northwestern, the ill-fated Penn Central, and of course the Santa Fe. Now these cars here look fantastic. They do come with metal wheels and they have metal couplers as well. So that is a great addition to add to your fleet here. And these are just really cool looking cars. You know, you can put them on your layout. And as you can see, I have a whole bunch of different row names as well as different numbers. And I could put these, I make a nice long unit train of PS2 covered hoppers. And I think that will look really cool going on your layout. Now these hopper cars, I'm going to consult my notes. These hopper cars sell for $29.98. We're selling them here at Yankee Dabbler for $23.98. That is a very economical deal for a really nice looking car. And as, as I said, we have a whole bunch of different road names. We have a whole bunch of different numbers. You can make a nice long hopper train. And uh, I think that's going to look really cool on your layout. Save you some money. Get some nice cars up there. So I don't know what you're waiting for. Check us out at YankeeDabbler.com and get these cars on your layout today. Those hopper cars are really nice, but whoo, we can check out the caboose on that. <laughs> They're actual cabooses. These are the Atherin Roundhouse Coppola cabooses. And as you can see here, I have a bunch of different row names. The Southern Pacific Railroad Police. I got the Denver and Rio Grande. The regular Southern Pacific. And one of my favorites, the New York Central in that jade uh, paint scheme there. I think these look really cool. Now, if you take a look at the subtle variations, for example, if you take a look at the Southern... Both of the Southerns, actually, you can see that the windows have actually been patched over there. Uh, that was probably pr prototypical on the actual railroad, whereas the New York Central has all the windows fully functional. You don't really see cabooses a lot on the railroads anymore, unless you're going to a tourist railway. Of course, they've all been replaced by the train devices or helper engines, but I think cabooses are still uh, a great... Um, a piece of American railroading history, and everyone loves a caboose. I think of the train. I know I do. So these cabooses here sell for thirty-two ninety-eight. We're selling them here for twenty-six thirty-eight. These are high-quality cars here. You don't really see a lot of cabooses out there, but as you can see, this is a nice-looking piece here, and uh, it's a different style, especially this uh, railroad police. You don't really see too many of those. So check these out, Yankee Dabbler, because I think you're going to be really excited to have these on your layout, especially if you don't have any cabooses on your layout i want you to get this recruiting station here from woodland scenics actually this is a recruiting station and record shop and as you can see there i have a bunch of detailing in these woodland scenic buildings here uh woodland does just a fantastic job in decorating these things everything from having weathering on the bricks to the uh crates on the side here as you can see even have a little advertisement for a theater there painted on the bricks. So if you look at the back here, you're going to see the uh, electrical meters, the water meters there. I got some lights happening there. If you take a look at the blinds, they're, you know, a lot of them are messed up there. They're not perfect. I mean, these are incredibly detailed. I even got a little dumpster there. So there you are. There's a lot of really cool stuff chalked into this little building here. So this is just one of the many, and we have taken a look at the past shows about all the different Woodland City buildings that we have, but this is the newest uh, addition to the line here, and I think it's a really cool looking building. This particular one here sells for $67.99. It might seem like a lot, but again, this is incredibly detailed. It has LED lights, everything that you would want from a building. You don't have to weather it, it's already done. And truthfully, if you're really good at photography and you put your train next to this, it might look like it's actual real thing if you, angle it just right so come in yankee dabbler check these guys out i also have it available in n scale so if you n scalers are interested in this i got one of those as well i picked the ho one because a little bit bigger shows a little bit better on camera 
Another thing that we just got in stock here, that something that we've actually looked at before, but I figured I'd just mention it again because a lot of people have talked about the Bachman chargers have actually come back in stock. Now I only got a couple here, but I have all four different variations of the chargers. And a lot of people have uh, asked about these and uh, they just came back in stock. Bachman was a little bit delayed in getting them out there, but we got them back here in the store. They sell for $269.99. If you're interested in the Bachman charger, I referred to one of our previous episodes where we did a review on this these are a really cool looking engine and i think in the future there bachman's actually going to come out with some new variations with it being the 50th anniversary of amtrak so if you want to get on board with the uh the charger train check this out yankee dabbler or come into our store and get these rolling on your fastener fleet today all right, so we're gonna go to N scale land and we have here a locomotive by Broadway Limited that I think you're really gonna like. It's a Pennsylvania engine. For those of us on the East Coast, I think we all know what this is. This is the Pennsylvania T1 Duplex by Broadway Limited. This retails for $299.99 and this is a really cool looking engine here. It's kind of an unusual design here. If you take a look at the wheel arrangement here, it's actually what we call a 4444. Four good pilot wheels, two sets of four driving wheels, and then of course four trailing wheels. Now, if you take a look at the front of this locomotive here, you can see I have the shark nose type of design here. I have a really cool looking tender. I think the tender of this locomotive might be my favorite feature there simply because it's just a really different looking design. A little bit more, it's kind of like the half streamlined type of style, the Art Deco design that the T1s were going for around this time period. Now, none of these locomotives unfortunately survive preservation. However, there is a group called the T1 Trust that's actually trying to build one of these from the ground up. They have a target date of 2030, so that's a little while from now. But uh, that's going to be really cool if they can get one of these engines up and running. So to hold you over, I think you should get one of these locomotives and run a T1 on your layout. And you can wait until the real one comes, into pre uh, comes up into uh, actual operating condition. But, you know, like we like to do on this show, we like to hear what this, uh, these engines sound like. So let's fire her up. Time to fire her up. So as you can see there, I got the headlights already on there. I actually have some marker lights here, which are really cool. And there's even a little light on the bottom there, which is a new little addition. I got a whistle. Add the bell. Now there's a bunch of different features that go along with this engine as well here. For example, if I go to uh, some of the other keys here, I have announcement features. I also have a whistle crossing sequence. So there's a bunch of different uh, additional features that go on with these locomotives. But let's start her up, shall we? With that dual cylinder sound too, which is really cool. back her up there and I got the backup light on and what's neat about it is it's not on yet from full blast as it starts to move that's what we call rule 17 lighting as it goes back that's when it gets a little bit brighter check this out
Now uh, let's go forward. That is a really cool looking locomotive, as you can see it's still talking to me as a matter of fact. There's a lot of really neat features to go along with this engine, it sounds great, it looks great, it runs great, it's a good puller. So come into Yankee Dabbler and check that out, as I said we're selling that for $299.99. Might seem like a lot for an NC locomotive, but it's incredibly detailed, and if you use that engineer hall uh, coupon code, you get an additional 5% on your order, so I don't know why you wouldn't do that. And, oh no, I just realized Mount Zephyrmore is melting. Thanks, global warming, or really just customers really want Zephyrs. So if you haven't gotten our, uh, your Zephyr, and if you remember, this thing was pretty high at one point, okay, make sure you get one Yankee Dapper while we still got them in stock. We are now entering Diesel Land, and of course there's no place like Diesel Land. That's what Dorothy said, right? Something like that. Anyway, I have these Atlas Dash 840Bs. And if you take a look at these diesel locomotives, these are brand new diesel engines, but these are engines that we have here in stock that I think are definitely worth a look. As you see here, I again have a bunch of different road names here. I have the Conrail, I always like that Conrail blue. We have the Albany and Eastern, kind of an obscure railroad to model, but that is a neat addition. I have here the classic Union Pacific colors with the gray, red, and yellow. I have the Susquehanna, and that's an interesting one because that one has like a little beacon light up top. That's kind of a neat addition. And finally, I have here probably the most drab, but I think also the most interesting here. This is an X Norfolk Southern diesel locomotive that's now going for the CSX uh, railroad here. So that is an X Norfolk Southern now riding for the CSX. So that's definitely a neat little uh, kind of a cool story that you could put with your. Uh, diesel fleet here. As you can see here, all these engines here have a, a bunch of detailing here. My personal favorite is you got the little chain there on the trucks there. These are four-wheel truck diesel locomotives, but they, I think they're really cool looking and it's not really a design that you see modeled that often. Usually you see GP30s or GP9s or SD70s. Well, I think it's really neat that we got these um, these 40 dash beats because I just think they're a really cool looking diesel locomotive. So we're gonna pick one of these out. We're gonna run it around and we're gonna see just what it looks like. So we got the Conrail here. Let's start her up. Take a listen to her horn. You hear the bell as well. As a matter of fact, when I blow the horn, the bell goes automatically. Well, let's start her up. Now arriving on track one, the Grumbling Cody. So that's a great looking engine. As you can see here, it runs great. The cars run awesome. I think definitely, just like Engineer Hall did, I think you should get everything of what we just talked about. These diesel locomotives are selling for $199, and as you can see, I have a couple of different variations to choose from. I think these engines are going to look great. 
uh, paired up together. So check us out at yan yankeedabbler.com and see if any of these engines fit your engine roster today. See? The grumbling Cody. Also, a little PSA for a website. If you didn't get uh, an item that you ordered or you're having a little bit of a delay, remember there are still a lot of delays out there in terms of shipping, in terms of production, in terms of cost from uh, various distributors and products that are out there. So if you didn't get an uh, item that you're looking for, why don't you give us a call and we'll tell you what the update is on that order because a lot of things, unfortunately, are back ordered at the moment. So some people are wondering where their items are. It's not our fault. We're just waiting for the distributors to get that product out so we can get it to you. Everything that we took a look at today is available. So if you order any of these uh, items that you saw on our show, you'll get that as soon as we get the order. So that is a good thing there. I want to thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to Engineer Hall so you get caught up on all the latest What's New Yankee Dappler videos, what's happening on the real railroad, or what's happening down in this model railroad in the basement. I think there's a lot of really cool things coming out there very soon. All right. Also, uh, I know a lot of us like to donate to causes that are important to them. And if you're watching this, I'm assuming you're a railroad fan. So that T1 Trust that I talked about a little bit earlier is uh, accepting donations so they can get the project uh, moving in the right direction. So we're going to put a link to the website there. So if you're uh, willing to uh, contribute some money to that project, why don't you uh, click the link there and that will get you, uh, you know, the that will get you supporting a project that uh, you believe in. I know I did. All right, well, I want to thank you very much for tuning in. And we're going to conclude this week's video with our rail fan video. We are going to be taking a look at the Norfolk Southern Railroad pulling a train through Mount Laurel, New Jersey. Enjoy, everyone. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye. These are such incredibly detailed buildings. I dare you to find something more detailed than this. Go ahead, do an internet search. I'll wait. Ballistic water. I should get some of that. See, I told you you couldn't find anything. These are awesome buildings. Come in the Yankee Dabbling and check these out. You're not going to be disappointed.